The Cannibal Theory Salad Fingers is a 2004 animated series by David Firth. It is a psychological horror series about the titular character of Salad Fingers' life in a seemingly devastated city. Salad Fingers is a green, hunchbacked humanoid who has finger puppets as his only form of company. Because of the surreality of this web series, many fan theories have arisen regarding this series. One theory states that Salad Fingers is a cannibal and is either denying it or is oblivious to the fact. Salad Fingers is believed to suffer from multiple personality disorder and that Hubert Cumberdale, one of his finger puppets, was his true personality and Salad Fingers was just Hubert's gentle and oblivious side. The theory also notes Salad Fingers' obsession with a substance that he believes is rust. You see, rust is closely related to blood, right down to its taste, iron content, and color, which adds credibility to the theory that Salad Fingers' alter ego, Hubert Cumberdale, is obsessed with blood. This theory also implies that Salad Fingers may not even know what blood is, but states that he loved it in episode 2 of the web series, stating, I like it when the red water comes out. After he pricks one of his fingers on a hanging nail, the theory also suggests that Salad Fingers wears the skins of his victims as a reference to the serial killer, Buffalo Bill, from the Silence of the Lambs. In episode 3 of Salad Fingers, Salad Fingers finds a nettle plant and places it into a baby carriage. This theory proposes the idea that maybe the plant in the carriage was an actual baby. This can be reinforced with the idea that instead of the rash making milk come out of his nipple, the baby had something to do with it, and that Salad Fingers or Hubert Cumberdale would then take it back to his house to devour. It implies that he would soon do the same with the baby's father, who was represented as the crazy man who antagonized Salad Fingers throughout the episode. He also allegedly beat the man to death in his Hubert Cumberdale persona. It's also believed that Salad Fingers had a wife whom he then murdered in his Hubert Cumberdale persona and later cooked her in the oven. The woman's name was believed to have been Baxter, which means baker. The theory also cites that if one were to look closely at Salad Fingers, you would see that there are letters written on his teeth. More letters may be revealed later on. The Great War A common plot point of the series is the Great War. Salad Fingers would constantly mention the war throughout the series, but what this war was and when and how it started is currently unknown. One theory about this war states that the war was most likely nuclear. This war was believed to have been a worldwide conflict and that resulted in the deaths of billions of people. This may also explain why the characters of Salad Fingers are how they are. They may have been mutilated during the nuclear fallout of the nuclear war, and this may also explain the desolate appearance of the show. It may also be the reason as to why Salad Fingers may be the only living creature for miles, and the reason as to why he has finger puppets as his only company. Most of the characters are unable to speak, most likely too mutilated to even do so, which explains why Salad Fingers narrates what they say. This might also explain why Salad Fingers is so shocked when he hears the little girl speak in episode 5, for he most likely hadn't heard another voice in a very long time. It's also believed that the Great War was most likely World War I, because World War I was also known as the Great War, or the War to End All Wars. A possibility is that this is an alternate history where World War I actually destroyed the world and all of the people Salad Fingers mentions died in the war and he went crazy. Another example that supports this is the end of episode 7 where Salad Fingers says to Kenneth's corpse. Uh, well, back, back you go then. Back, back to the ghastly trenches. For most of World War I, was fought in the trenches, commonly referred to as trench warfare. One explanation for this war was that there was no war in the first place and that it's all in Salad Fingers' mind. 
considering the surreality of this series and that Salad Fingers is an unreliable narrator, this may as well be true.